Hey, it's Dr. Trish Lee with another neurofeedback question and answer. Today's question is about nystagmus. So if you struggle with nystagmus, I don't need to tell you what it is, but I'll just frame it for you in the context of what's happening in your brain. Nystagmus is rapid eye movements of your eye moving back and forth. And so clearly this impacts vision and quality of life. And we work with people, not tons and tons, but we work with people who suffer from nystagmus after some type of brain-based challenge. So typically, um, the person I'm thinking of right now has had brain surgery, so that has disrupted the electrical flow of energy within the brain. A stroke can do the same thing, a concussion. So nystagmus is a response to changes in the brain performance pattern. So if you remember me talking about this before, and if you haven't seen me, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see all the videos that I've made and there's videos on the optimal brain performance pattern. What's happening in the optimal pattern is the energy is in the middle using medium processing speed of calm focus. When someone suffers from nystagmus, the science shows that their brain performance pattern is using too much extra slow and slow speed and too much extra fast speed simultaneously. What that does is create what I call an overactive or chaotic brain pattern that is not organized and is not stable across usually multiple areas of the brain. So what that means is, as neurofeedback is used to organize and then stabilize the new better brain pattern, reducing the slow speeds, reducing the extra fast speed, and using more and more of medium speed for calm focus, the brain is able to process information, that's information coming in or going out in real time, and skills come online and then the nystagmus decreases. So that's what's happening in the brain that creates and exacerbates nystagmus. So neurofeedback is the number one thing that you can do to control the nystagmus in the first place. Now there's another study that shows that in concert, I believe, in concert with neurofeedback, you can use another biofeedback mechanism. So as you feel greater and greater control of the nystagmus with auditory feedback, you can learn to control the nystagmus more and more because your brain's in a better spot. So you could either do it in the mirror and reward yourself when you're holding the nystagmus pattern in a better visual pattern, your eyes are controlled and they're stable, or you could have someone reward you in when you are practicing, actually practicing controlling the nystagmus. There's scientific studies that show that both of them will help your brain perform better and your nystagmus decrease. If you want to know more information about that, visit my blog post at Dr. Trish Lee. There's one there on nystagmus and neurofeedback. And remember, control your brain or it will control you.